Good morning. Happy Thursday, everyone, and welcome to Ellen White Speaks, where we share excerpts from the writings of author Ellen G. White. It's Thursday, March 14th. This is Pastor Vince. So glad you're back with me once again for another Ellen White Speaks, and we're still reading from this wonderful book called The Desire of Ages. However, today we're going to read from chapter 49, which is called At the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, this chapter is based on John 7, verses 1 through 15 and 37 through 39. So please listen as I read from At the Feast of Tabernacles, found in The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White. Three times a year, the Jews were required to assemble at Jerusalem for religious purposes. And shrouded in the pillar of cloud, Israel's invisible leader had given the directions in regard to these gatherings. During the captivity of the Jews, they could not be observed. But when the people were restored to their own land, the observance of these memorials was once more begun. It was God's design that these anniversaries should call him to the minds of the people. But with few exceptions, the priests and leaders of the nation had lost sight of of this purpose. He who had ordained these national assemblies and understood their significance witnessed their perversion. The Feast of Tabernacles was the closing gathering of the year. It was God's design that at this time the people should reflect on his goodness and mercy. The whole land had been under his guidance, receiving his blessing. Day and night his watch care had continued. The sun and rain had caused the earth to produce her fruits. From the valleys and plains of Palestine, the harvest had been gathered. The olive berries had been picked, and the precious oil stored in bottles. The palm had yielded her store. The purple clusters of the vine had been trodden in the wine press. The feast continued for seven days, and for its celebration, the inhabitants of Palestine, with many from other lands, left their homes, and came to Jerusalem. From far and near, the people came, bringing in their hands a token of rejoicing. Old and young, rich and poor, all brought some gift as a tribute of thanksgiving to him who had crowned the year with his goodness and made his paths drop fatness. Everything that could please the eye and give expression to the universal joy was brought from the woods. The city bore the appearance of a beautiful forest. This feast was not only the uh, was not only the harvest thanksgiving, but the memorial of God's protecting care over Israel in the wilderness. In commemoration of their tent life, the, is, the Israelites during the feast dwelt in booths or tabernacles of green boughs. These were erected in the streets, in the courts of the temple, or on the housetops. The hills and valleys surrounding Jerusalem were also dotted with these leafy dwellings and seemed to be alive with people. So I've just read from the Feast of Tabernacles or at the Feast of Tabernacles found in the book, The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, which is chapter 49. And again, this chapter is based on John chapter 7, verses 1 through 14, 37 through 39. Please join me tomorrow for more of Ellen White Speaks as we continue reading from another of author Ellen G. White's writings. Have a blessed day.